What's going on guys? This is Parker, back with another NBA video talking about the NBA. And today, I'm not necessarily talking about the NBA. I'm going to be talking about college basketball and why I think Chet Holmgren of the Gonzaga Bulldogs should be the number one overall pick in the 2022 NBA draft. Now, the season just started for college basketball. There's still a lot of basketball to be played. So I am making a very bold statement and there's a lot of talent in this year's draft class a lot of talent obviously the guy on duke who's dominating as a freshman we got Jaden hardy in the g league his name's banchero i don't know why i just said guy on duke Jaden hardy in the g league and of course amani bates on memphis all three of those guys look like they can potentially be the number one pick obviously also chet holmgren and in my opinion chet holmgren's gonna be the number one pick Unless some unfortunate events happen or one of those guys just start going ballistic and go above him in draft stock. Chet Helmgren, even though if you look at his stats, they don't fly off the paper. I think his potential and ceiling cannot be doubted. He has such a high ceiling and potential that I think a lot of teams are going to be really interested in this guy. And there's a lot of questions about his fit in the NBA and some of his weaknesses. But I'm here to lay that to rest. So obviously, he's a 7-footer who can shoot the 3-point ball. Has amazing handles for his height. He reminds me a lot of Kristaps Porzingis if he had a better handle. And better playmaking. I love what his potential is and what his ceiling can be in the NBA. It's going to be questionable because he is skinny. Very, very skinny for a 7-footer. So it will be interesting. To see if he can work as a center or potentially a bigger stretch four in the NBA. I will be curious to see what happens with that. And obviously with him being the number one pick, it also depends a lot who gets that number one pick. Because if a team already has a dominant center or potentially a dominant power forward, they might pass on home grand and draft a guy like Banchero. But in my opinion, Chet's just got it all. He's got all that talent, all that potential. Like I said, he needs to start gaining some weight. Uh, there's question marks about his scoring ability. I think he will be fine. It's not like, you know, he's not averaging a ton of points. He's averaging around 13 points. It's not like he's blowing up uh, scoring-wise. That's not why he's such an amazing talent. Yes, he can score the ball magnificently. And he can shoot the three-point ball amazingly for a seven-footer. The thing is with him, he's averaging over three blocks and being able to have these amazing handles, three-point shot, and having a seven-foot-tall frame with amazing wingspan. That's why he's so good. And that's why even though Banchero is an amazing young talent, six-foot-ten, can score the ball at every level, similar with Amani Bates and then Jaden Hardy's just an absolute stud in the G League, Chet Holmgren's just too much of a talent to overlook. Uh, it will be interesting to see, you know, can he stay healthy as a 7-footer? There's a lot of questions about that in the NBA. If you're tall and skinny, a lot of times you're injury prone. But, you know, there's a lot of times where the skinny, young, tall guy gets overlooked. Like a guy like Kevin Durant got overlooked and Greg Oden got drafted above him. That will not be the case this year. Teams know not to give up on the guy with that high of a ceiling. You gotta draft him with the number one overall pick. Let me know what you guys think about Chet Holmgren. Should he be the number one pick or should it be a guy like Banchero, Amani Bates, or Jaden Hardy? Let me know in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I make NBA videos all the time and I'm not stopping anytime soon. Road to 400. Peace.